Hey guys, I'm John with Herbert Lawns. Thanks for watching the show today, and I want to talk about mite damage this winter. And let me show you what's going on here. It's mid-January in Colorado, and as you can see, we have a lot of snow on the ground and it's covering most of the grass. But as we get over here, you could see where the sun has kind of melted the snow off the grass in this part of the lawn. And this is probably the, I guess would say, southwest facing side of the lawn. And these are the type of areas where the mites like to get in and start to dig and, and do their, their biting and cause trouble with the lawn. And the reason why they do that is because these areas tend to dry out faster than these areas that are covered in snow. And the mites do not like the water, the moisture, or the snow. They like it where it's hot and dry. So this would be an example of a perfect place where mite damage could occur in the lawn. And so there's some things you can do to avoid this throughout the winter. First of all, if you're, we have a lot of dry days which in Colorado we do get quite a few dry days, it's a good idea to go ahead and put your hose out or run a sprinkler uh, certain times of the winter if it is going to be dry. And that's one thing you could do to kind of keep that ground moist and wet and kind of keep those mites from doing the damage to your lawn. As you can see, I'm just showing in this picture here that um, the, the lawn is dry and there's no snow over here. This particular part of the lawn does not have any mite damage, and you can see it's actually looking pretty good, but this is, again, this is just an example of where it dries out really fast. So the second thing you can do is have a company spray your lawn, and that's what we do mostly for our customers. We have a winter mite control treatment, and we kind of are proactive on that, and we treat the lawn in these particular areas during the winter time uh, just to kind of keep the mites out there. It's a preventative maintenance. Now generally when you're spraying for pesticides you want to find a pest first and then treat them. You don't want to over over pesticide your lawn or over put, put more product down than you need to. But the problem is is that one, what we found out is once customers find out they have mites in their lawn it's too late. They've done their damage. It's generally April or May, and there's no need to spray them because they've, they've done their damage to the lawn, and it, it's gone and it's done. So this is why we kind of take a pre preventative approach to mite control. We've got, a, we've got a beagle next door that's making all kinds of noise. Okay, as you can see here, this is the front part of the lawn, and you can see how much more snow is, is on this side of the the lawn and obviously some of the snow is here because we piled it up from the driveway. But as I get over here to the lawn, you can see there's a lot of snow on this lawn and so you're never probably gonna have mite damage on this section of the lawn because it's just not gonna get hot enough or dry out. But again, let's go walk down the street and I'll give you some other examples in some areas of the lawns that are very prone to mite damage. Okay, as I'm walking down the street here, you can see on the left side of the street, which is probably going to be more of the um, south facing side, you can see there's a lot less snow on this side of the, the street versus this side of the street. So again, where I have these areas of the lawn that heat up really bad, you're going to have a potential um, situation for mites to come in and start tearing up your lawn. So. These are the areas of your lawn you kind of want to water in the wintertime or you want to have your lawn care company kind of pay attention to these sections of the yard during the wintertime. Sometimes if we do have a wet winter and we get a lot of snow and a lot of cold temperatures, you actually won't have much mite uh, problems at all. But it's when it's, we get a dry winter and we don't get a lot of snow, the mites kind of come out and, and just make a mess of, of those sections of the yard. Also, uh, if you, in your yard, if you have any hills or anything's on a hill, uh, the water tends to run off a hill faster than a flat area. So hills uh, on a south or west facing side or a southwest facing side actually are very prone to mite damage because the hill just kind of makes the conditions even better for the mites because no water is, is 
being in you know held into the ground it kind of rolls off so the ground gets really dry quickly and, and fast again you can see here as we walk down the street this side is the lawns are almost completely uh, I wouldn't say dry but the snow is completely melted on, on this side and then you go to this side of the, the street and you can see there's just snow everywhere there so it's safe to say that this side of the street which is going to be more of your your north side facing it's not completely north but it's 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 mostly north you're going to have a lot of snow over there they're probably never going to have too much trouble with mites and then you can look on this side of the street where the lawns are, are all all kind of um, melted from the snow you're going to have a potential for mite damage on this side of the, the street so if you want to know where to water your yard or you want to know where to direct your lawn care company to treat in the winter time just pay attention in the winter months to see where the snow melts first and where it melts the fastest and that's the area of your yard slash lawn that's going to have or that's going to be susceptible to mite damage all right guys that's all i got for you this week thanks for checking us out if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and if you have anything you want to talk about in the future, just let me know also, and I'll do my best to address those questions and issues. This is John with Herbert Lawns in Denver, Colorado. Have a great day.